Hotel Bethlehem is in the centre of the old town. It is the middle of the census season and the hotel is full to bursting. Alan has been on the night shift as duty manager and has had a busy night. Just then, the phone rings and Alan takes the call. Room service, can I help you? That you wish to make a complaint? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Just need to find the paperwork. You don't often get complaints, you see. Just bear with me. It'll be here somewhere. Is that it? Oh, no, that's a Chinese takeaway. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Yes, we've got it now. Now, uh, which room is it, sir? Oh, well, that's 216. Well, that's one of our superior rooms around the back. What's the problem there, sir? The noise. I see. And, and where was that coming from, sir? It was in the shed just underneath your window. <laughs> see, I think I can explain that one, sir. Must apologise. We had a bit of an overflow situation last night. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with the plumbing. No, no. And how do I put this delicately? It isn't something that I've had personal experience of, to be honest, but I'm told it's quite normal that ladies can make a little bit of noise during labour. Yes, I did say labour. Yes, giving birth. And, and, and given a situation, I just didn't think it was appropriate to ask her to keep the noise down. Oh, yes, everything went fine. Baby boy. Yes, yes. Yeah, bouncing boy. Yes. Of course, I'll pass on your good wishes. How about we send up a complimentary breakfast just to, uh, just to, yes, just for that, yes. Uh, full English with a pot of coffee. Send it up straight away, sir. And the complaint? Put it in the bin. Yes. No problem then. Have a nice day, sir. Yes. You see, it's been one of those nights. Room service. Uh, can I help you? You'd like to make a complaint? Well, I see. Well, I've got the form to hand, yes. Uh, which room are you in, madam? Room 125. Um, that little room on the ground floor, is it? Yes. What's that? You had sheep passing by your window all night, eating flowers from the wind basket. <laughs> are you sure they were, they were sheep? Very unusual for them to come into town, madam. Yes, yes. Oh, you saw the shepherds as well. Oh, well, that must have clinched it. Yes, yes. Well, well, yes, madam. Well, she can be very scary at that time of night. Yes. No, no, I don't think they'll be back tonight. But can I make a suggestion? If they do come back, perhaps you could start counting them. That might help you get off to sleep. Yes, yes, of course, madam. Look, for your inconvenience, there'll be a free drink in the bar area later. Yes, just pop by. What's a problem, madam? Have a good day. Room service, can I help you? You'd like to make a complaint. Which room, sir? Room 532. Well, that's one of our best rooms, sir. What on earth can be a problem there? You've had a bright light shining through your window all night. I can only apologise, sir. Turn it off. Oh, that might be a little bit difficult. Trouble is, it only turned up yesterday. Totally out of the blue. Yeah, yes, yeah. Well, these things happen, yeah. Well, look, I'll make some inquiries to see if I can find out who owns it and get it moved. I'll send you up a complimentary morning paper. Hey, what's that? The, the Bethlehem Star? Yes, of course. That's fine. I'll send it straight up. Good day, sir. So, I mean, it all started when this couple turned up asking for a room. Well, we were fully booked, as you know, tense of season and all that. And it was set for the penthouse suite. I mean, you, they couldn't afford that. So I said, well, go and stay in the stable. You know, I'm just trying to be kind. So I locked all the doors for the night, done our routine checks, when the husband of the couple started banging on the door, demanding hot water, saying his wife had gone into labour. Well... I mean, I looked through all the procedures, but we didn't seem to have anything to cover it. So I didn't see any problems. So I gave him the water. A few hours later, he came in to tell me he'd had a little boy. Don't think I'll charge him extra for the baby. Doesn't seem fair. Uh, what do you think? Bring him again. 
Room service, can I help you? Let me guess, you've got a complaint. Oh, no, a compliment. Well, that makes a lovely change. Yes, which room is that, sir? Room 632. Uh, it's on the top floor, isn't it, sir? Yes, yes. What's that? You enjoyed the singing outside your window. Well, I'm very pleased about that. Oh, the name of the group. Well, let me think. Somebody did tell me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Heaven's Most. No, that's not right. No. Heavenly Host. That's it. They were called the Heavenly Host. You will get there in the end. Yes. What's that? If we book them again, can we get them to perform earlier? Well, I'll make that suggestion. But, you, you know, you know what these rock bands are? Yes, yes. The law to themselves. Anyway, send you, up, send you up some complimentary angel cake. Thanks for the suggestion. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Ah, good morning, boss. How are you? No, everything's good. Yes, no problem at all. Yes, sir. Uh, we did have quite a busy night, you know, what with the overcrowding and the lady in labour, the baby, the bright star, the, the runaway sheep and the shepherds. And not forgetting the singing angels. Uh, yes, sir, I did say angels. Look, I'll explain it all later, but it's all under control. I mean, what else could happen? Oh, hang on a minute, sir. Three people carrying parcels have just walked into reception. I'll have to go. They park the camels in the disabled parking area. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You, you, you can't park them there. No, no, you can't. <laughs>